Hey guys, Ivan here, and in this video, first of all, you're gonna see what Sean Roden looks like right now in 2021, 10 weeks out of Mr. Olympia. Is he gonna do the Mr. Olympia? Looking like this 10 weeks out, it seems like that it's not gonna happen, not this year. But what is more important is that he is big, like he is holding on to a lot of muscle. And you could have seen that based on his, uh, his photos in clothes and his training videos and everything. But now you can get the idea of what is his body fat percent like. But you probably could have guessed that as well based on his uh, face. His face did look a little bit puffy. So you probably got the idea that he is a little bit watery and that he is holding on to a little bit of fat. Now he's not fat. I mean I cannot call a professional bodybuilder on his level fat. I mean of course this is mainly water, some fat. But uh, guys, I told you this before, Chris Aceto told us this, that Sean, you guys know how lean Sean gets, he's always super conditioned, he's always crisp, ever since we know of Sean Roden, he was always good with conditioning, he probably never missed the mark when it comes to conditioning, 2000 then, I think 2017, yes, that was the year when he broke his jaw and he wasn't super super crisp, but he was still on, he was still conditioned. So conditioning for Sean Roden was never the issue, what uh, could be the issue is him not holding on to a lot of size before he starts prepping, which is not the case, he is humongous right now, he's carrying a lot of muscle on his frame, a lot, it seems like he grew, I don't think he was this big in his 2018 offseason, I don't think so, I think he gained some muscle, a lot of muscle actually, so he probably utilized this time off properly. It seems like he wasn't wasting time. And you could have seen that on his Instagram. He was posting a lot of videos of himself training. And now he's back with Stanimal. They are training together. And they're pushing things like they did in 2018 when he won that Mr. Olympia. And now there is more and more talk. Him uh, coming back to the Mr. Olympia. So maybe next year we will see him actually on that stage. But right now you can see right here. I mean he is big. He is not small. He didn't lose any size. And another very interesting thing with Sean is that he does not look aesthetic in the offseason, not even close. There are bodybuilders who look quite aesthetic in the offseason. For example, I don't know, Flex Lewis. Phil Heath tends to look probably the same, just a little bit less separated. So many guys, really. A lot of them do look pretty good in the offseason. But Sean, he looks like he's not competing on Mr. Olympia. You probably would not guess that he's an Olympian, that he can get so great, so aesthetic, so so amazing in like three months of prep. It's weird, it's really weird, but in the offseason he looks like, like, like a freak, like somebody who has nothing to do with aesthetics. But on the stage when he's lean, he is the most aesthetic guy on that stage. Probably one of the probably the best absentees in modern bodybuilding. So right now, once again, off season for Sean Roden, he is big, he is small, he is not too fat, but he is muscular, he is watery, which is great. He probably is making improvements, and the next time we see him on stage, it's probably gonna be the best version of Sean Roden. Yeah, he's getting a little bit long in the tooth. He's like 45 right now, something like that. So or 46 actually, 46, right? So him being 46, he probably is gonna have a little bit of a tough time gaining muscle and getting better, but I can actually see that. I think he can. I think his body is still fresh and uh, with all the protocols done right, you know what I'm saying, he can actually make progress. So I expect Sean to be probably at his best, at least his biggest, next time he competes. A week has passed since Rolly Winkler placed 5th at Chicago Pro, very very embarrassing placement for a guy of his stature, he was uh, a potential Mr. Olympia winner, everybody thought so, because he was once third after Sean and Phil Heath, you know, when they were at their best, basically, so everybody thought he's gonna win the Mr. Olympia sometime soon, but uh, somehow he lost against 4 uh, second tier bodybuilders in that in that pro show Chicago Pro so I guess a lot of people were actually disappointed and we have no idea why this happened anyways Rolly Winkler right now is in his hometown and he decided to hit some legs and this is something I wanted to mention to talk about me make a video about it uh, it's Rolly Winkler's hamstrings he probably has one of the biggest hamstrings 
in bodybuilding why well, if i made a, a video i would probably i probably will make a video the best hamstrings of all time i think Rolly winkler will make the top five because look at his hamstrings it's just ridiculous how much mass he's carrying in that area it just looks really really freaky and it also makes me wonder how this edition of Rolly winkler didn't win that show or at least plays higher than that because if you look at him right here you cannot say that he was not on he was conditioned and you can see that he was pretty full as well. I guess the only reason why he placed so low is that he didn't bring his usual size. He was smaller than most of those guys. Now why, why is this? What is the reason? Is it the age? I don't think so. I think it's because he wasn't able to train for a long time because the gyms were closed uh, where he was living at a time. It sounds silly. I don't think a bodybuilder of that level really didn't have where to work out. I have a lot of friends, a lot of people who don't even compete, who train. I think everybody figured it out somehow and, and, and did some workout and found a gym uh, for themselves during the quarantine. So I think every serious lifter can manage this. Not to mention somebody like Rolly Winkler. So I don't know, maybe he just didn't feel like searching something like that. Maybe he just didn't, didn't want to work out if he didn't uh, have a, a public gym open. I don't know, maybe it's some kind of principle, but uh, I'm sure he could have trained, if that's the truth, if he really wasn't training. A and I also heard that, that he was trying to grow into the show, so they were pushing him to grow until one point, and then they started cutting, and uh, yeah, he managed to have the conditioning, and he peaked properly, he was full and everything, but he just didn't have enough time to grow. He didn't have a proper off-season because he didn't train for a long time and he lost a lot of muscle. He was smaller than everybody else in that lineup, at least in that top 5. And that's really the reason why he placed so low. Can he fix this in two weeks for Tampa? How? How exactly can he do anything to fix that problem in two weeks? You know, to get more muscular. I don't think that's, that's a realistic possibility. I don't think he's gonna do it. I think he's gonna be probably the same if not worse, actually, because uh, how many times in a year can you actually peak? And he did peak for Chicago Pro, I think. So I don't think he can gain a lot of muscle in two weeks. And yeah, I don't think he can win the temp. I think he's probably, again, going to be in like top five or something like that, which is really embarrassing for a guy of his, of his level. Rolly Winkler placing 15 like mediocre pro shows. Yeah, not, not very good for him. Not, not great for his stock. Maybe he should hang it this year and have a good off-season and actually grow and bring the, the, the mass that Rolly is known for. He is known as the, as the mass monster of modern bodybuilding. Him, Big Ramy, those guys. Those guys are the mass monsters and Rolly is one of them, at least was. And I'm sure he can be again if he actually does an, an off-season, a proper off-season. This way, can he qualify for the Mr. Olympia? I doubt it. Though we can rest assured that James Hollingshead is coming to the Mr. Olympia, he qualified last year. He was also qualified for the last year's Mr. Olympia, but he decided not to do that one, to focus, to do an off-season, a proper off-season, and to come in bigger. And that's exactly what he did. Look at this guy right now. He's 10 weeks out, and his body is starting to look like something really freaking impressive. How much size is this guy holding? It's just absolutely freaky, and I can't wait to see him peeled, to see him shredded on the Mr. Olympia stage against the other top, top Olympians, and it's gonna be a good show. I mean, seeing a lot of these guys, and they're all trying their best either to qualify for the Mr. Olympia or simply to have a good Mr. Olympia debut like James here, and I think James is gonna leave a good mark. Even though it's his debut, I think he has a good chance of cracking the top six, top five. I think that can happen. It depends on how how well he peaks, because he probably has all the tools necessary to do something like that. He has the size, he has the symmetry, he, he can bring the conditioning. His lats, from the his, his back from behind, basically, is not very good, but all these front and side shots, look at those, those massive quads, and you can see them, especially in the, in the side shots, they just look insane. So, uh, I mean, you can see that this guy lifts heavy weights and he's incredibly strong. He's a really good squatter. He's squatting like eight plates for, for reps and he's a really good presser and everything. Like, uh, he, he's doing deadlifts and stuff. So, he's, a, he's basically a power lifter, a really good power lifter, but he's competing in bodybuilding and that's why he looks like this. Also, there's genetics and a lot of food. 
and a lot of focus directed to bodybuilding and this guy is focused he's really really freaking focused he really wants it bad and i can't wait to see him on stage against the other top pros but before that in two weeks we're gonna see a classic physique competitor logan franklin in two weeks is he talking about texas pro i think texas is in about two weeks so I guess he's keeping Tampa, I think he won it last year, Tampa is in a week, so he's probably gonna skip Tampa, do the Texas Pro, if he wins it, he's gonna be qualified for the Mr. Olympia, if not, he has Arnold Classic to do before the Mr. Olympia, he's doing that show as well, so this is gonna be a good year for Logan, it's gonna be ideal if he actually qualifies for the Mr. Olympia by winning Texas, and I think he can do that, and then plays higher at the Mr. Olympia, I think he was like 8th, ninth last year, so if he can crack the top 6, I think he can do it if he really brings crazy level conditioning. We'll see what's gonna happen right now. He looks amazing in 2 weeks out and uh, also 8 weeks out of Arnold Classic and potentially 10 weeks out of Mr. Olympia. So guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and tell me your thoughts down below in the comment section. And to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel guys. All the best and bye bye.